Be the one. Ooh, wow. Welcome back to JR Pro Shop Bids. Jimu here, and today we got the new mindset from Brunswick. It's gonna be Simu out on the lanes today, our low rev specialist, stroker, my brother. Can't wait to see him throw this huge, huge hook monster against two of his favorite bowling balls in his arsenal. We got his OG hook monster, the Proton Physics from Storm, and also his favorite benchmark ball right now, the CUDA C Power Core. So this mindset features the Mindset Core as well as the Evolution Solid Cover Stock. Just looking at it from first glance, this ball seems like it's about to hook off the lane. Today we're bowling on Route 66, 45 feet, challenge pattern. It's not too difficult, not too easy. Simu being a low rev player, He's always looking for the stronger bowling balls to help see that motion down lane on all types of oil patterns. He's thrown this Proton Physics for about two years now and I think he's ready for a replacement. So is this mindset gonna fill that spot? Stay tuned to find out. Before we go out on the lanes, check out shop.jrproshop.com. We got some new merch. We got hoodies, t-shirts, whole bunch of different colors and you can have it shipped right to your door. Anyways, let's head out onto the lanes for my brother Simu. Simu's back on the lane. Today I'm reviewing the brand new mindset from Brunswick. So the mindset here is being marketed as a tank, being a lower rep bowler. You know we always need a big strong ball in our bag. I have a Proton Physics, got quite a few games on it, just got discontinued. I want to see if this can replace it. Wow. So even after that first shot with a pretty bad release, missed it quite a few boards right. You could tell this ball is definitely going to read really, really early and really try to get as close as it can back to the pocket. Bowling on a long pattern here, gonna try to keep it a little bit tighter, throw a better ball here. First shot, lots of hook. There it is, much better line, good release. You could tell that ball wants to roll really, really early, gets through the pins really nicely, and yeah, it's just strong overall. So now moving on to my current tank, this is the Proton Physics. So I've had this ball for a couple years now. Like I said, tons of games, but I like to think it's the standard for what a tank should be. So let's try to throw it on a similar line. So similar result there, you could tell even with a couple years, that ball still digs, still hooks, goes through the pins really nicely. I like that one a lot. Let's try to do it again. Missed that one, a little bit right, a little bit soft off the hand, but you could tell a lot of forgiveness with that ball. If you put it in a good spot, it's gonna do its best to drive through the pins and maybe even leave a messenger for a bad bowler like me. Now, my benchmark ball, this is the CUDA. So the CUDA being a sim solid, this ball is, should be a little bit smoother, not as much intense hook as the other balls, but let's see. Good one there. Little bit inside, but being a little bit lower grit, we got 1500 compared to the 2000 at the other balls. You could tell it's still red in a really good place. And high flush, something you can never complain about. Let's see if we can miss a little bit right. See how it recovers. Recovers pretty good. That's why it's my benchmark ball. Super, super smooth, super predictable. And wow, even though it's supposed to be a step down for my tanks, for a low rev bowler like me, that's a motion I really like to see. So now that we've thrown some pretty good shots with all the balls, let's move a little bit left, see how it does in the oil. Gonna go three left here. Okay. 
Ooh. Again, just leaked it a touch right. Messenger didn't come all the way through. I think I can throw one better. Be the one. There it is. Hit my spot, caught it good at the bottom, and that ball does exactly what you want it to do. I like that one a lot. I'm gonna to try to do the exact same thing again. Woo! So I think that really shows the strength of this ball. If you're a touch slow or don't hit it as good, you're going through the face. This thing loves the oil though. Let's keep going left. Another two left. Caught it a little bit left, but this ball does really, really well in the oil. You could see it digging, you could see it working really, really hard, and I got away with one there. Question time with Simu. We got a really good one, courtesy of our friend Coach Ty. Our question for today is what's your mindset when you know you need a double in the 10? Mine is try to go Brooklyn, but I wanna hear yours. All right, we saw what the mindset can do. Go to the Proton. It got back. It was probably a touch later than the mindset. You could see it go a little bit light, but both of these balls hook a ton. I'm usually not used to playing that far deep. All right, same line. Try to get one flush. We're pushing the boundaries a little bit late. Didn't get through the oil as nicely as the mindset, but I think that's just because of the wear and tear on that ball. All right, we're gonna move one right off of that miss. Get up. Yep, so even with the move, just a touch flat. Didn't really pick up in the spot that I wanted to and left a flat 10 there. Now we're going back to the CUDA. Same thing, jump left a little. Hopefully, this strikes. Kind of similar with the Proton there. You can see it reading just a touch late, going a little bit light, trying to get a messenger across, but doesn't quite get there. I think if I was trying to throw this CUDA on this line, on this pattern, definitely got to slow down. So let's see what that looks like. Ooh, super sensitive out there. I think somewhere in between there is good. I'm gonna throw one more, try to flush it. Yeah, just a little bit flat from there, not enough ball, not early enough to really dig through that oil like the mindset did. All right, I'm really, really liking this mindset. Let's move another two left, see if we can get through. Kick it! Oh yeah, low rep bowler, not used to being out there, but that ball really, really does a good job getting through that oil. You saw that the Proton and the Cuda had a little bit of trouble with it, went a little bit light, but Man, this mindset is impressing me for sure. Keep inching left. Thing just loves oil. I don't know if there's much I could say. It's super early rolling, which means that it might be a little bit pattern sensitive, but on the long here, the further left I get, it just seems to be getting better. Let's go back right to where I started. I like this ball. Ball's good. Rolls in a good spot, relatively predictable, and it hits the pins hard. I'm having too much fun. Let's move way left, slow it down, try to throw a strike, send it back to the shop. Back to the shop. All right, Simu back from the lanes. Let's talk about what we saw with the mindset here. For starters, man, like I said on the lane, this thing hooks. Being a low rev bowler, you always want to see down lane motion the most you can. For me, it really gives me confidence in my game when I see the ball turning the corner and going through the pins hard. Moving left is sometimes difficult, getting the ball to get back to the pocket, but with the mindset, I feel that I could do that. You saw on this longer pattern here, when you keep the ball in the oil and you keep inching it left, you give yourself more chances to succeed. Whether I missed it a little bit right, missed it a little bit slow, you know, I felt that this mindset did a really good job of still picking up really, really early and hitting the pins hard. Comparing it to my other balls here, I got the Proton Physics. You guys know that I throw it as much as I can and it's been my tank for a couple years now. 
With that being said, it definitely has a lot of games on it. And I'm really proud to say that the mindset is relatively comparable here to the Proton Physics when it comes to hook, which is something that I was not expecting. If anything, I would say that the mindset out of box is actually maybe a couple feet earlier as well, which is really good for the fresh patterns when you're trying to control that pocket. I really wish that I had a brand new Proton Physics to compare it to, but I don't. But with that being said, I have no problem replacing my Proton Physics with the mindset at the very top end of my bag. For some of you who may be in the same predicament, we know that the Proton Physics was just discontinued. If you're not super loyal to a brand, maybe consider throwing this mindset here. So in terms of boards hooked, I would say relatively the same. This one just might be a foot or two earlier. Going through the CUDA, we know that that's my benchmark ball right now. Really, really strong Sim Solid. What I really like about the mindset and the CUDA here is that the mindset is a very definitive step up. It's definitely earlier and definitely stronger by a couple boards. So if I'm throwing the CUDA and I notice that it's not finishing hard enough or reading early enough, I know that the mindset is there for me. You saw out on the lanes that, again, as I moved left, which I wasn't always comfortable doing, these balls would have a little bit trouble getting back to the pocket, left a couple 10 pins, a couple two pins, while the mindset would find its way to dig through the oil, again, fresh out of box, really, really strong, and split the 8-9, which you always love to see. I also feel that with this mindset, I could throw it on heavier patterns, short, medium, or long. It doesn't really matter. I feel that I can use it to really help control my angles and control the pocket. Unfortunately, on this pattern, it doesn't really allow you to play down on in. There's not a lot of oil on the outside, so it just kind of rolled out at my feet. That's totally okay, because as you move left, that's where you really found the line. All three balls look really, really good, if you remember the beginning of the video. And as you move left, the mindset really, really shined. So that being said, I think you can't really go wrong with any of the balls here, especially this brand new mindset. For me, I'm always gonna err towards really strong hooking balls. Again, good for my eye, really gives me confidence to see that ball turn. And with me having the CUDA as my benchmark ball, I know that I have a really good step up option here with the mindset. The Proton Physics I love, and I'm always gonna keep it around, but if I need the ball to hook just a foot or two earlier, but the same amount of boards, this mindset is gonna be my brand new go-to. I think no matter what style of bowler you are, this ball will definitely fit in somewhere in the top end of your bag. Like I said, super early, super controllable, but not super pukey, which is something that I really like. I didn't feel like it would just kind of roll and quit down lane. It still found a way to get through the pocket hard. So thank you so much for watching. Must have been a little bit different seeing me throw the ball so far left, but I had a lot of fun and hopefully you had fun too. Let me know down in the comments what your mindset is like, especially when you need that big double in the 10th frame. Check out the shop, shop.jrproshop.com. Me and Jimu made a bunch of different designs, shirts and hoodies. Let us know which one's your favorite. And also, of course, shop.bufabowling.com. Promo code JUNGLEBARKS gets you a discount. And they're really the best place to go for all your bowling needs. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next vid. Get up. Kick it!